Hello Malaysia, this is Jericho here and this is a wait a minute production. So I'm at Taiping and uh, it brings back a lot of memories, Taiping that is. So uh, I'm at this uh, Jalan whatever, I don't know. So today I'm going to eat some pork chop. There would be, I think around Bukit Larut, uh, that you can see there, that's the big hill and it seems like it's going to rain. So this Taiping is always raining. So, yep. So uh, the laundry there and stuff like that. It looks nice actually. Then there's uh, old pre-war buildings and uh, this is Yutsun restaurant and I guess it's halal so there's no like pork here at all because I see a lot of uh, Malay chaps here and there and everywhere actually all of them are Malays and uh, there's no Chinese so this is Yutsun restaurant uh, no pork chop unfortunately so I have to like go to like say uh, uh, Penang Island itself to get that uh, lovely pork chop goodness from uh, Mount Erskine Hainanese restaurant so uh, so this is a 360 view of the place, there's an SO there, there's the Banda Warisan building or something like that, I don't know what it is. And uh, yeah, now you can hear the sound of the swallows, and she swallows, that's right. Swallows is a very, 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 very uh, good commodity to sell to gullible people who thinks that it is uh, full of great shit and of, of course uh, everything that's great is bound to be an aphrodisiac. So, uh, it's beautiful here actually, it's, uh, it's kind of warm, uh, of course uh, moving from, the, the, from the, the, the tunnel there, going down towards the, the flatlands is a bit, bit warmer, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, that, that's about it. This is typing. Hi, uh, sedap ke sini? Sedap. Apa you makan? Nasi goreng. Nasi goreng. Ah, nasi goreng dia chicken chop dia. Ah, uh, saya sangka ini tempat uh, bagus itu pork, uh, chicken chop semua itu ah, okey ke? Paling paling bagus. Paling bagus. Ah, paling sedap. Oh, really ya? Ah? Ah, really. Oh, okey. Apa nama ini, Cik? Kairol. Kairol ah. Cantik ah. <laughs> Berapa ah? Ini masa company punya. Company. Ah, company. Ah, tak tahu lah eh. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So the Tari Ipo. Ini ni masuk YouTube punya. Oh. So uh, they have uh, fried rice and stuff like that as well. So uh, uh, don't like uh, do my bike in. Uh, not many people actually. But never mind. So uh, yeah, let's go and uh, look at the the place and uh, look at the the menu there. So this is the menu for the restaurant Yutsun. So chicken chop, uh, maybe I'll have the chicken chop, I'm not going to have the beef, it's uh, 9 bucks. Uh, if you were to go into uh, Pulau Pinang itself at that, uh, what should we call it, uh, Mount Erskine, it's around roughly around 7, 8 ringgit, so it is 9 ringgit here, hopefully it's going to be very very filling. And they have the normal stuff that you would call, like the chap there, uh, he says fried rice, 4 bucks, 5 bucks, whatever. Uh, I'm not going to have those things, I, to, I, I want to try the Hainanese type of chicken chop. Uh, see whether it lives up to uh, Mount Erskine's uh, standards and the drinks here would be like say coffee is 1 ringgit 60 hmm so they have the normal thing of a Hainanese uh, restaurant the half boiled egg, poached egg, whatever egg and also maybe omelette on toast and stuff like that so this is a type of Hainanese uh, normal Normal fare, and unless unfortunately they uh, spell it incorrectly, the N is supposed to be an M. So let's uh, go and take a look. So they also have a nasi lemak as well, and some newspaper about uh, regarding this place here. And they have uh, traditional types of uh, cookies for Chinese cookies. There is the egg tart. Uh, not sure what that is. Not sure. Not sure. And uh, not, I'm not sure about this one. So each one is around one ring and twenty cents. And uh, I like this one the best. Uh, I like it because there's a uh, layer of cream and this one is a kaya puff and a normal Hainanese bread so let's take a looky looky so hi sir hi good afternoon i'm uh, i'm doing a re food review okay of your place is it okay oh you're, you're not a boss uh? are you the boss i uh, i heard the i heard the food here is good so i'm doing a food review uh, from ipo Ah, what's your name, sir? Chin, Chin. Mr. Chin, huh? So I uh, would like to try your. What's your, what's your house food? Uh, house dish? Uh, normally we have like this one, mi hai lam chicken chop. Oh, mi hai lam chicken chop. 
Uh, chicken chop is the most uh, yeah, the tra traditional one. Uh. Traditional one, uh, Hainanese style. Yeah, uh. yeah, yeah, Hainanese so style. I think I'll order one of those. Uh. Okay. Uh, what about drinks? Uh, what, what do you Which recommend? Uh, like usual, uh, we have tea, coffee, nice coffee. So it's all Hainanese yeah. one? Uh. Yeah, all Hainanese it's not, style, not packet? Not no, no, pack. no, no, no packet. So it's a uh, lovely yeah. coffee. Uh. Yeah, yeah. So I think I have a uh, iced coffee. Iced coffee uh, and one chicken chop. Is chicken. it possible if I can see you how you prepare it? Okay. Is it okay? So you see the seafood makes a uh, Hainanese type of coffee. What kind of coffee do you use? Huh? Sorry? From Taiping also? Wong Tai... from... from oh, Taiping ah. Uh. Hot coffee or what? Uh, cold one. Coffee ice ah. Uh. So... Chicken chop here. Ah, yeah. Can you That's the chicken chop. So what's the history behind Taiping ah? Uh? This uh, is a name after a guy named Taiping, right? Sorry? Taiping's... Taiping's name, right? It's named after a Chinese fellow called... Uh... Some Tai... Name is Taiping ah. Uh. Yeah, Taiping. So... So what did this guy contribute? Oh, huh? You don't know? Ah? Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, you're from Taiping, is it? Yeah, yes. So it's quite simple, just taro, taro here and taro, taro there and you got the, the coffee already. Uh, oh, the, the helmet there, eh? thanks. So uh, they are preparing a chicken chop, I don't know where, which one. Ah, yeah. Chicken chop by Pingo. Ah. Pingo to win, ah. Chicken chop. Ah, you are. Ah, I'm my moga. Chicken chop. Ah. Chicken chop. Ah. What's your name? Lane. Ah. 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 Are you the wife of the owner? No, sister. Oh, sister. So how long has this uh, Yutsun been around? Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, no, no, at the shop. How? Uh. I think uh, 100 years now. Wow. 100 years. Hey. My grandfather now. Wow. 100 years. Uh. My father is 80 years old. 80 years old. Oh, he's the one who started the, the restaurant. Uh. Okay. My father already still, still, kick, still going strong, is it? My father passed away. Oh, passed away. Oh, your mother there. Oh, okay. Oh, she's still working now. Helping. Helping. Uh. Still very strong. Still very strong. Uh. So who are the usual characters here? So they have the the potato. They are cooking the potato and also the chicken there. Uh, chicken, did you uh, like marinate it beforehand? Yeah. And uh, you didn't use breadcrumbs and stuff like that, lah. Yeah, yeah. Just a uh, normal. Chicken, chicken. What you marinate it with? Huh? What you marinate it with? It with? Any any chow, uh, any yeah, no uh, really salt and pepper. Yeah. Uh, yow, uh. Uh, okay, the soy sauce and stuff like that. Uh, okay. Uh. So what's the po most popular dish in uh, this place here? Ah. Chicken chop. Uh, Sorry? Yin chi kai. Yin chi kai. pepper, black and pepper chicken. No, 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 no. Ready. No sauce one? Ah? Uh, no. Sauce over there. Oh, thank God. I thought it was going to be dry. So how do you do the sauce one? I don't know. You don't know? Ask them. Ask okay. them. Ready. Okay. How's the sauce? Uh? I mean, is it how do you do the sauce one? Uh, how do you do the sauce? Secret recipe. Oh, secret, oh, secret recipe. Okay, they are part of secret recipe, the franchise. So, yep. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. So the boss there is eating nasi lemak. Da 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 da. 
tissue as well and the sauce and tomato and whatnot. So if I were to uh, like turn left there, I will end up at Bukit La Road and there's also a museum and a museum fair up somewhere or nowhere. So this is a uh, 9 ringgit uh, chicken chop. So uh, the portions are a bit uh, smaller compared to the ones in uh, Mount Erskine. So it's quite a simple type of uh, how they prepare it. Too bad it does not come with bread, but uh, hopefully the potatoes will uh, do the job. And uh, let's take a look at it. So how's the taste of the sauce? I wish they given me a, a what called a spoon. Of course, uh, the sauce is uh, different from the Mount Erskine. Mount Erskine's one is sweet and, and lovely. This one is a uh, this is a very traditional type of Chinese pork, uh, chicken chop, right? Very very traditional sauce. I can taste and tell that uh, it remind, reminds me of the taste of old. There's a mm. chicken taste, nice, well marinated. And the peas are quite big. Mm. So as I was saying, this type of uh, chicken chop is a type of traditional Chinese chicken chop. Back in the 80s and 90s, you get the same thing, so it hasn't changed much at all. Normally in uh, all those uh, shops, uh, the, especially the, the, the new ones that, that, that are becoming modernized, they try to like, make it even more westernized. This is a western type of uh, food already, but uh, they make it even more ma uh, modernized it, like all the modern cooking and shit. Let's taste good. I know it would be an insult to actually put the uh, sauce onto it, but I like to eat uh, pork chop or not chicken chop with. Uh, Sweetness. So how was the trip down to Taiping now? It's okay? Not bad. Not bad at all. So I don't know about the drink. This is a says it's a high nice type of a drink, coffee. Every place that you go to uh, has a different taste type of coffee, you know, different coffee taste. Depends on what they, what kind of coffee they use, and also the, uh, they use uh, sugar or condensed milk and stuff like that that comes from sweetened. There's a lot of uh, varieties of uh, coffee in uh, anywhere else. Oh, potatoes. It's also fried with the chicken just now, as we have seen. Mm. Potatoes okay, but I prefer it to be like uh, salted. Uh, there's no salt here. Uh, only pepper, I see. I don't know whether this is pepper, right? Yep, it's white pepper. So, no salt. And you can see there's some onions with the, the what do you call it? What do you call it? The, the sauce. So, I can imagine that the recipe for this uh, chicken chop, uh, this Hainanese style chicken chop, hasn't changed for 100 years already. Mm. So it's uh, still a bit early just now I came here around like say at uh, around 12, 10 minutes after 12 noon 
so not many people were eating so the customers are gradually coming coming in slowly but slowly actually the, the those uh, like say what should I call it you can see the hole or not I don't know where you can see not. see that hole there that's the um, the the try to try to make that type of uh, bird's nest thingy. I think it should be should be all outlawed when it, when uh, it's not supposed to be in the city, within the city limits because it's uh, it's noisy as fuck. And also the prevalence of bird flu and shit. That's not good. So I would say that uh, uh, besides having all this uh, pork chop here in this uh, Yutsun restaurant, there are other types of uh, foods like say nasi goreng and whatnot. All has been uh, a lot of uh, other stuff. And you want to get your coffee, your your morning Hainanese breakfast with uh, half boiled eggs and bread and kaya and stuff like that and butter. Yep, I think uh, they do provide that as well. Sauce is not bad, but uh, personally speaking, I prefer the sauce in uh, Mount Erskine. That's sweet and nice. This one is uh, it's nice as well. And so it's a uh, it will taste differently when you put in the tomato and the, the sauce here. I don't know how they make it. Uh, all these things are usually very simple. For me, uh, for me personally, I don't like the peas. The peas is a very, very different type of taste to it. But I don't know whether it uh, adheres to the, the principles that I like, which is the yin and yang, which is positive and negative. But it's kind of like taking me out of this piece. But you have to eat your vegetables for a nice shit. I would have preferred if they put in a, a, a bread. Bread would taste excellent with the sauce here. It's quite a missed opportunity. But this is a normal thing. I mean, when it comes to chicken chop, pork chop, and fish chop, or whatever, uh, it usually comes with a bun. Uh, yep, a bun, a sweetened bun with a sweetened bun so you can and suck up all the all the sauces here and there is like no no uh, what should call it spoon to suck up the sauce so overall it's, uh, it's, it's okay it's not bad I will give it a uh, seven stars out of uh, ten not bad although it's a bit spicy that is so typing is not that dead. After all, I uh, came here and there are a lot of uh, shops. And there was also uh, at Simpang, a place called Simpang. There is a Toyota showroom. So it's still thriving typing. It's not dead. So just now there was a lot of Malays eating here, and suddenly there is a lot of Chinese. Uh, it's quite a shame that I never get to eat the uh, pork chop because pork is the best when it comes to all these or comes to everything. So I just uh, I wanted to eat pork. I mean, sorry, I want to eat meat because the journey will be taking some time. So Yutsun is around here. Yutsun is around here and it's smack in the middle of two main roads. That is the Jalan Tameng Sari and Jalan Kota. That's how I used to stay here with my uh, my then ex-girlfriend by the name of uh, 13. There was one hotel here and she told me I was uh, sleeping with her. Uh, she told me that there was some kind of uh, entity in the hotel room. Oh my god. And she told me that I was like 
having so much goosebumps that I almost bolted through the door. I mean, if if you do feel a presence, a ghostly presence or something, you can't explain. Just don't tell me, okay? I prefer to like be uh, oblivious to such things because uh, if you tell me, I will feel uneasy. I thought that she was just pulling my dick. I'm not sure. What is it? And there's also a first gallery right here. So I think uh, that's um, that's an art gallery. So that's interesting. There's a McDonald's here. I saw it just now. It was around that way. So there's a McDonald's Taiping here, and um, uh, and it's a landmark actually. Of course, uh, this place is typing being so small and so ulu or so isolated. McDonald's here is like a godsend. So I think uh, Zoo Taiping is here, and this is the, the popular uh, uh, typing lake. So it's funny. Uh, I tried to ask the the owner here, the Mr. Chin, uh, what's the history behind this, the naming of typing, and he does not know what the fuck. Uh, there are many more other uh, foods to be eaten. As, uh, this is recommended by the motor mouth for people. They say Daro Matang Food Court, there are some foods there. And there's the Ai Kacang restaurant, Ai Kacang. I don't know whether they do the, the chendol or not. And there's a hawker stall typing uh, between Jalan Maharaja Leda and Jalan Tupai. Then there's the our long biscuit confectionery thingy somewhere very far away, fuck it. And I saw the the, the sign for that uh, mangrove forest, uh, fuck it also, because uh, I'm going to Penang and I don't want to like become too um, too tired. But I'm uh, interested in going to Bukit Darut and also the Perak Museum, which is a stone throw away from here. And there's a Bismillah restaurant for your nasi kanda good, goodness and curry. And there's a Wang Li restaurant. Uh, this is not the Wang Hong Li, not that uh, singer, which is uh, can be said as the competitor of uh, Jay Chow. Then there's a restaurant Kaka. I think restaurant Kaka on Triple uh, Eleven Jalan Pasar is also a Hainanese uh, Hainanese restaurant. I don't know Hainanese Western restaurant. Uh, Jalan Kaka, where is it? You soon, yes, yes. Uh, <coughs> ah, fuck. I don't know where it is. Oh, yeah, it's called Wang Li. Uh. Restaurant Wang Li is the one that that has the the Hainanese uh, Western. So there's another one here, but I think I don't I won't be eating too many of these Western foods. Uh, it's kind of like bleeding me to death. So this one here is already uh, nine ringgit for this uh, chicken chop here. That's very expensive, but never mind. And uh, this one will be one sixty the coffee. So all in all, all, in all for this lunch is ten ringgit sixty cents. So it's almost similar to a KL standard type of food. Uh, of course, uh, I'm quite biased to say that the West, this Western meal is expensive. Uh, it is because that uh, if you compare everything to like the Mount Erskine uh, Western food, anything else will be expensive. But I do like this food, okay? This Western food. Sometimes, sometimes you might think that Taiping is such a uh, ulu place, uh, it's such a isolated place, you think that the prices would be cheap. But I guess not. But then again, I want, uh, I want to say that uh, the peas, I don't like the taste. I don't like the taste of the peas. Everything else is fine. Should have included a, a bread because sorry because the the sauce is good it's not bad 
is uh, I think it's good for the people who um who have a uh, heart problem because it's not salted, not that salty. It's, it has a nice taste to it. So this shop has been here for 100 years, eh? Wow, that's a long time. I wish my, fr my friend Sam Lau would go back into all this fashion business. He has the experience for it, but I guess he think he says that it's, uh, he's done it before, so fuck it. No thanks. There's money to be made in food, no problem. It's only the hard work and the boredom as well. So some parts of the chicken is a bit dry now. A bit too uh, rubbery. So am I going to do a walkabout in this typing here? Uh, don't think so because I'm not familiar with it. I'm scared I might be, I might get lost. It's kind of weird the architecture and the roads. So it's going to end already the video. So see you on Bukit La Road or Museum Perak. Bye bye Malaysia.